It was at that moment, Carrie wished she remembered how to read. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Cars Crowded Corner. Love it or hate it, Valentine's Day comes and goes every year. I am very, very impartial to Valentine's Day. I get it. I think it's cute. It's fun. But it's not like my favorite holiday. It might crack the top 10. Okay, there's not that many holidays. It's probably my sixth, sixth most favorite. So today, I am going to make a sculpture. I have this tea morning polymer clay, 50 colors, holy 50. It says, uh, let's play, develop your kids' imagination and creativity. Okay, well, oh, best gift for child. Well, let's just dig in. I did slice it. Did I? Yeah, I did. I sliced it, but I haven't opened it yet, so this is my first. This is my live reaction. Wow. <gasps> I've always wanted to see that. <laughs> I have some... Forks? Instructions? Oh my gosh, look at them all. There really is 50 in there. Oh, and it came with little huckies. And wow, look at the colors. Whoa. This is cool. This is just like a book of like uh, ideas, I guess. There's like little, what is that? Tigers? <gasps> That's a Dratini. That's got to be copyrighted. Um, squished. What's happened to you? Look at him. Also, what is this? Is it a puffin? Or a toucan? Is it a puffin? Or a toucan? Is it a puffin? Is it a puffin? Or a toucan? 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 This is Murphy. He is a complete spaz. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you're a spaz. Yes, you're a spaz. Yes, you're a good boy. It's my mom's dog, and he's crazy. And here's Rocky. And Ryder's over there, too. But I'm not picking him up. Mm -mm. Okay, so the creations book has some very lovely ideas. But none of them really screamed Valentine's Day to me. But it's cool. It's cool. I like that they have copyrighted images in here. Doesn't say anything about what it is. But it does tell me how to make it. Nice try. Timoning. Come on to you. Okay, so. I think my best bet is to just let the colors speak to me. And what are they saying? So I can put away the colors I'm not gonna use for sure. Like blue, no way. Green, that is pretty. This is hideous. Okay, I have all the light pinks and purples. Now I have to decide what to make. I don't know how to sculpt. Okay, I'm gonna make a purple dragon. It said cut it into four to make it easier to work with. Okay, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Am I just gonna make a really tiny dragon? Or am I gonna make a larger multicolored dragon? Oh, I could mix the purples. 
nothing wrong with that, right? Is that a bad idea? If I took like maybe two or three different purples and mix them? You're not answering. I kind of think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm mixing the two together now. Look at this beautiful mixing. It's getting kind of sticky. Why is that? Should I have picked something a little simpler? Yes. I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe if I use my tools? No idea what I'm doing. Right now, I'm trying to get like all my little lines out. That's very hard. Probably should have started with like a cat or something. Is it too late to go back? Kinda. Okay, so his very sad looking body is almost finished. I really don't know how to smooth them. Like, he's very rough. I wanted to have like yellow spikes going down his back, and the first one is gonna be on his head. Yeah, I definitely feel like I probably took on a little bit too much here with this dragon, but we'll see. What would people normally do to hold him up? Probably not just stick a spoon under his face, huh? I think I probably am adding the spikes a little early, but I just have a feeling that any second it's gonna fall apart. So I should probably just try and finish this dragon ASAP, you know? And I'm also not entirely sure what's gonna happen when I take the spoon out from under his face. That could add some drama. Honestly, for my first ever sculpture, it doesn't look that bad. You have some dragons that are very strong and fierce and beautiful. And then you have some dragons that look like this. Diversity among dragons is very important. Because if they were all fierce and amazing and cool, then mine would feel bad. Okay, I'm gonna try and give him some eyeballs, a belly, legs, and arms. He's standing up on his own right now. I don't know if that's a long-term thing or to stay temporary thing. It was supposed to be a Valentine's dragon, but it's not really. It's just a purple dragon. So I really dropped the ball on that one. So these are his legs. I don't know if that translates, but that's what I was going for there. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll make him holding a heart. It's genius. Make him a little heart. D plus C. Can't really tell what that says, but it's okay. It's gonna go right here. Okay, next I'm gonna do the base. And I wanna put it on something so that I can bring it downstairs with me. I'm just gonna use my plastic lid. I wish I made his arms and legs the same color as his body. You gotta learn how to make it more smooth. His tail's a bit rough. Probably gonna fall apart in the oven. His head may not make the journey. It just means there's lots of room to grow. Like how thick does this have to be? Like, is that good? Okay. So here's what he looks like right now. I can put him a little closer. <laughs> I don't know if I should keep playing with it to try and fix him or if I should just say that's good because I feel like I could make it a lot worse. I'm gonna go put him in the oven. 
wish us both luck and I will bring him right back for the final result. I'm back. I just took him out of the oven. I put him in there for 30 minutes at 275 degrees and it is time for the moment of truth. I snuck him up here like all secretly because I didn't want him to see him. Here we go. Did he survive? But he's really solid. <laughs> you can definitely see the imperfections, but honestly, not bad overall. Wow, yeah, he's really cute. Honestly, like, it could be worse. And he's solid, so he's not gonna fall apart. Yeah, there he is. My little Valentine. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever worked with polymer clay before. And if you have, maybe you have some tips and tricks to share with me because I will definitely be doing this again. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I put out a new video every week and I would love to see you here again this time next week. But until then, always remember to be kind, stay curious, and get crafty. Bye for now.